What's up, Leo? This is Soul here. Leo, we're going to look at some energies here for May 2023 regarding those relationships, love and romance. So, Leo, I hope all is well here. I'm using just, you know, the favorite go-to tarot deck, Victorian Romantic Tarot, and throwing some cards from the Romance Angel Oracle deck just to support your reading. And uh, no reversals being read here, so without further ado, um, oh, by the way, happy uh, Memorial Day, happy um, Cinco de Mayo Day for all the Leos who celebrate those energies there, okay, and I wanted to get this energy, um, because I'm going to be down, yes, I'm putting it out early because I'm going to be down, don't know how long after my surgery, uh, so, you know, at least if I'm a month ahead, then, you know, that would give me some breathing room, but I'm not really stressing out over, you know, creating content or videos for you, uh, you know, my welfare is most important. So uh, hopefully you guys understand. All right. But I just enjoy doing these uh, videos for you. Energies for Leo. Let's see what's going on here when it comes to these relationships. Very first card is the Two of Pentacles. No, it's not. It's the second card. It's the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is the relationship. So I think the energy here relates to uh, Leo's interest in their own relationships. So if you're already in a partnership or this could be a new relationship that is formed. Um... Linking up with like-minded individuals here, sharing the same uh, energy, you know, feeling the same thing, even number of cups. What you give, you're going to get back. This is first dates, first invitations out. So be prepared. What follows that two of cups is now the two of pentacles. So it could be that there are two people that you're dating, two people that you're interested in, or it could be that there's two people who may be interested in you. Small energy of imbalance. The Hermit is the major arcana where, well, you might have to go within or detach just to figure out, you know, if you are interested in two people, which one is going to be. Some of you may be doing some soul searching when it comes to those relationships. And I always regard the Hermit as just neutral energy. Sometimes it often um, involves, you know, uh, meditation and whatnot. But if meditation helps you when it comes to the relationship, then, you know, find the time to do that. This is really, you know, I want to be a alone, by myself for a minute, I'm not going to stay like this forever, and you just need some quiet time or a moment to think, okay, and then that might be just all suited or situated around, um, you know, a relationship. Then we have the Queen of Cups, the mother of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive, beautiful card to receive, okay, so this, of course, would uh, give the indication of how some Leos may feel in the month of May, on an emotional level, fulfillment, contentment, okay, satisfaction, definitely emotional happiness. New relationships can be formed. We already have the Two of Cups that opened us up. That's unity right there. And then um, the Queen of Cups being a stronger energy, definitely, um, you know, because she's nurturing, definitely supportive. Uh, trust the process in terms of your own intuition in the month of May, when it comes to these relationships, uh, Leo, she's here to support you. Queens, kings represent relationships, sexes, agents, and genders for me. Now we have the king of pentacles. Another court card is showing up here. Wow. <laughs> so because the king is the, um, you know, actual person that's on a horse, I usually regard that as someone is, you know, there's a driving force coming towards. There's somebody coming towards, uh, you know, Leo who is single. For sure. Whether or not it's an earth sign, it doesn't really matter. Somebody is, they may not be coming on a horse, but that's the energy that I feel that is coming towards you. But with regards to the pinnacles, though, it is something that this person comes along and offers in terms of, um, you know, not only whatever they have accumulated in their own life, um, you know, in terms of their success, they could be business owners running their own business. They could be doing something very lucrative in the line of work that they have chosen for themselves, but willing to share. They're not coming across as, you know, stingy people or selfish people. So definitely somebody is coming through. Now we have two court cards here. Okay. The queen precedes the king. So you want emotional stability for uh, others, it could be, well, you get both. Emotional security, financial stability. This is what this King of Pentacles has to offer. Not only just money, but, you know, unselfishness. 
Now we have the Hierophant. Somebody could be getting married in the month of May. It sits underneath the Two of Cups. Wow, that's a blessing. So you're spiritually going to be watched over. When it comes to these relationships, Leo, in May, epiphanies may be experienced. Okay? Could be an aha moment. It's always the card that, you know, relates to um, I need to learn something, but I also need to teach something, too. So teaching and learning is involved. Yipper. Up next now we have the, um, ooh, now we got the devil, one of the devils. Okay, so the devil here, underneath the two of pentacles, that might be a message for somebody when I said that you might be juggling two or dating two people or interested in two people. Well, the devil is the type of uh, influence that restricts you, binds you, or um, captivates you in some type of way. Um, making you feel, you know, not only restricted, but... Um, What's the word? It could be for some submissive. I don't know. Maybe I'm stretching it a little bit too far. No, submissive. So, I always say, that, you know, with the illusion that the devil uh, casts, it, there's several things that could be uh, in play here. So, um, you could be obsessing over someone. Someone could be obsessing over you. Now, you know, because I'm focused on love and romance, Leo, it still would involve... Me uh, having to say that, you know, it, be careful of how much energy that you're putting into your, you know, your work, your personal work and stuff, because your your social, well, your love life may be taking a hit. So some of you may be investing too much uh, time or spending too much time doing your job. Unrequited love, too much energy being given to another person, you're not getting that energy back. But, you know, in fairness to you, it could be the other way around. Addictions, toxic relationships. So it may not be you having to deal with any types of addictions. It may you know be the person that you're interested in or in a partnership with, but it's impacting or affecting could be the relationship that you have with them. Bring up to the surface and discuss those things, Leo. Um, it is a major arcana, so it's going to have precedence because I always tell you guys to make sure that you pay attention to all the major arcanas that show up in your spread. And so far, you got the Hermit, you have the Hierophant, and you have now the Devil. Okay? So, when it comes to those energies of, um, you know, situations, being in a situation, dealing with a situation, and you're moving along like it's as real as real can be, and it really isn't, and the person or persons are showing you who they are, and you're simply refusing to see it. Right. Six of Pentacles, well, there's an apology coming to you from some slight that may have taken, um, you know, that may have, you know, been presented to you in your recent past. Even number of Pentacles here balances that energy out. If the apology uh, is forthcoming, okay, then you accept it. Also, too, I'm going to still throw in that in the month of May, there could be some Leos from the partnerships or whatever. Leo could be doing this to someone that they're interested in. Gifts are being exchanged here. Given in exchange. Receive. Oh, now you got the King of Cups. And guess what, Leo? sits right underneath the Queen of Cups. So what more can I say? Besides, pay attention to your intuition. That's the father of all love. Nurturing, care, and supportive. Just like his wife there, the Queen of Cups. Relationships being formed, again, feeling good emotionally, content and satisfied, happy. Wow. You got the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Last card is the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles here is definitely about options, but also could be for Leos who may have put in a lot of work and effort into, um, you know, Supporting a relationship or, you know, um, working hard to keep a relationship going. Um, possibly, you know, it may have some sort of connection to the devil. You know, that you're just hanging in there and, and possibly having to have dealt with a difficult relationship. Well, the reward comes to you for your efforts. The options open up for singles. Plenty of options out there for you. So all you have to do is just put yourself out there socially. 
I'm reading that Nine of Pentacles as such. In your shadow, you have the Nine of Cups. <laughs> okay, so Leo, you got the Nine of Cups. This is the yes answer to all romantic questions. Like the star cards, social media, networking, okay? Oh my gosh. Wish fulfillment. Whatever you're wishing for when it comes to a relationship, it may be realized in the month of May. Not an even number of cups, but still, the energy that you give to others is what you're going to get back. This here is like the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Cups when, you know, the Ten of Cups is present. I always say it's about... Um, achievement of emotional satisfaction, fulfillment, and being content, okay, with your partnerships. Second card here is the Eight of Pentacles. It's like the Six of Pentacles. It's balanced energy. Just feeling balanced, feeling secure. Options, again, open up. Plenty of options for the single Leos. For the other Leos who are in partnerships, well, you, the balance, your relationship may be uh, feeling like you're balanced. You want for nothing. Okay, you're taking care of each other's needs. Then we finish off with your own energy here, Leo. It's the Knight of Wands. It's the Knight of Wands, okay? So the Knight of Wands is uh, intermediate attraction. All right, you're attracting someone, or it could be the explanation of couples who are already uh, together and just enjoying the passion and the intensity of being together, okay? Could, you know, definitely relate to the rapidness of new connections that could be formed in the month of May. So we finish off with the Knight of Pentacles. I like that, all right? So that's what I have for you, Leo. And for me... Pretty impressive. Okay, let's see what happens here. Just take what's necessary for you, what uh, works for you, and leave the rest alone. All right, so let's throw some cards here from the uh, Romance um, Angel Oracle deck and see what they want to add to your reading. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I always tell you guys about them prayers and affirmations. <laughs> just make sure, you know, when a magician shows up here, just throw it out there. Just make sure that you stay in alignment to that energy, okay? Next one up here for you is heart-to-heart um, -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Well, maybe that's needed, okay? Nothing wrong with talking to each other, right? Then uh, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Leo. Not too bad. Again, enjoy the month of May. Please be safe. The holidays, have fun. Um, keep smiling for me, and I'm going to talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>